Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Star Fox 64. This video will finalize all the planets, because we are doing the easy path this time, having in part one done hard, in part two we did all the medium planets. So let's get right to it. We're going to stick to the bottom row, which is the easy path. Um, typically it's like the mission complete endings, the ones that are kind of failures. We're just going straight forward, but once again, we'll see if I can get a better score. Although the easy path is never what you take for high scores. Slippy, get back here! Once again, we'll be going to Medio, but not taking the warp. Slippy, watch out! Bogey on your tail! And that alone makes Medio. Whoa! Thanks, Fox! I thought they had No me. problem, Slippy. But yeah, that makes Medio immediately way less hits you're gonna get, because you don't have all that warp zone to get a bunch of points off of. We're entering Corneria City now. I haven't decided if I'm going to cover expert mode. I'm more concerned about doing a score run. All right. Let's see if I can get that guy again. I shot him down. Ah, shot it too early. Did you see him swoop in? Maybe you need to slow down these levels and kind of analyze where the enemies uh, fly in and kind of do a, an analysis of it of sorts. There seems to be extra guys flying around. Did I, I did something wrong? No, I got that guy finally, but not with a hit plus one. Oh man! What the heck? Got, an enemy on your tail. got him anyway. Jeez, that was all kinds of sloppy. I'm losing it, man. This is not what we want before a score run. Although that could take several days. I just want to get this main bulk of the let's play done, covering all the planets, and then uh. I'll start taking some stabs at that. Maybe do post commentary over top of it. Because I'm sure it's not going to happen my first attempt. We'll see. Something's wrong with the What the heck? I locked onto that little thing. Ah, well, it's kind of more of what I was doing. There we go. I guess I should be thankful. That was better than the coward bomb. Um, why not? I'll do this again. It just feels good. Yeah, it's gonna happen again. Get in the middle right here on these guys. I gotta get better, man. What happened? I did watch those Zallard videos and immediately I was like, oh yeah, that's right. But watching a video and then replicating it are two different things. Like, you can understand it as you watch it, but you still need some serious practice. Just like how... Pretty smooth flying. I guess you could watch somebody playing guitar and think that it looks easy the first time you see it. Like, oh, I could probably do that. But then you start learning, and you're like, jeez, what did I get myself into? Well, yeah, purposely missed the arches. Got to get ready for that guy, because he destroys Peppy. If you do that. But yeah, not going under the arches. You don't go through the waterfall. And this leads to the most ridiculous boss. Let's go. And less hits, though, too, you can see. But yeah, this guy's got crazy quotes. But he goes down in like two seconds. <laughs> I'm immediately down and useless. I'm going to crush you. How? You can't even move. My emperor, I failed you. And there you go. But he has some good quotes, though, where he's like, I will not be defeated by this war. I always thought he said war warm, like the opposite of cold. We're heading out. All aircraft but he says warm. worm, like the thing in that... You did it! I was worried for a moment. Birds eat that crawl around in dirt. You're becoming more like your father. Are the quotes the same? I'm fine. You okay over there, Yes, Fox? they are, but the R-wings take longer to fly off into the distance. Watch. I, I don't know if you'll you'll pick up on that. 207. Say one, two, three, four. But coming from the other way, they're like one, two, three, four. They just go. All these little idiosyncrasies, is that the word that we want? But see, we have no choice in the matter. But taking that route, you get the blue path, you're locked to medial. So now your options are either Fortuna, which is where we're going to be going, or Katina through the warp that we did last time, but since we're for the sake of showing all the planets, we are going all the way to another hilarious boss. Eight bombs already, wow. 
Don't mess up that R wing. But try to get a lot of points. Oh, jeez. Don't mess up that R wing. <laughs> that was actually well timed, considering how bad that was. Crashing into the thing. Quiet. Too quiet. Be careful, it's a trap! Am I the only one that notices you bomb a little bit of a red outline on everything? I don't know if that's the retro tank doing that or what that is. Or if it's a side effect of my N64 falling off of uh like an end table thing so many times as a kid, thanks to people tripping over wires, just running through carelessly. I think I said that in Mario 64, didn't I? Something recently I talked about that. Here comes a big one. Here comes a big one. That's another one of those quotes that you could say in a weird instance in it. Or whatever. I lost confidence in whatever I was about to say, so it doesn't matter. Whoa! Can you make use the brake? Oh, squeezing right through there. Use the boost to get through! Confirmed. I've had people tell me I could do a good peppy voice, maybe. It would be fun, man. That's like a dream job doing Star Fox voice acting. Uh, oh, still got it. I wanted the bomb that time, that's why I used the break. Not ideal, but it worked. Alright, let's see if I can do this peppy thing better. Beautiful. You see how he, he tried to say they're on me, but I beat him to it. And, uh, the crazy flippy things? Yeah, okay. Bad. Terrible. Ah, it's, there we go. That's, that's okay. Man. See, you get like one or two attempts at that, and then you just gotta do a normal lock-on and line it up with the middle guy. If you keep on trying like I was doing, it starts to get to be too late. And then you just mess it all up. Just points up. Do a barrel roll. What the heck? Half of those guys didn't die. It was too early or something. Your turn to be Man. So much for bomb conservation. Although on the easy path, well no, Sector X, it's useful to have a decent supply of bombs. Sector X is the only planet of the easy path and a little bit of this one, too. That is any good for points. You want a piece of me? Yeah, remember? Hey, I was saying that thing about if you kill Slippy before the checkpoint, you get to kill a lot more of those guys. But I like to keep everybody alive. I want to get all the medals. It's just kind of habit. So even though I'm aware there's better strategies for more points, let's see if I can get them all. You can also lock on the enemy I, I messed up that first one. Good going, Buck. Good going, Buck. Hit plus A, that's so awesome. Nuts! Still got it. You did it! It's so much easier without the auto lock on, like disabling that by holding R and Z. But yeah, this is the last mess of things, so far less points than a whole warp zone full of asteroids. But this boss, man, again, he's got crazy feedback rumble if you have the rumble pack inserted. I remember this explosion in particular was just massive. Even, it's almost. More rumble I cannot allow you to go any further. than Macbeth. But yeah, this guy's got hilarious quotes. Well, they're not like... That's a misuse of the word hilarious. Let's see what you've got. Just easily quotable, I guess. That shield's absorbing the laser! Here it comes! Right now? Did I cut him off? No, it's now. You're more, more cunning than I thought. I've underestimated you. I've underestimated you. <laughs> so why he says that. Now this. 
You can get it as the lightning's going and one cycle it. This is where Star Fox Zero's mechanics would come in handy. Nuts, I missed it. But that's a perfect instance of where moving your cursor separately from your ship would actually pay off. I'm no match for you. I admit defeat. Are you gonna listen to that monkey? Are you gonna listen to that monkey? Uh -huh. uh, you're not as stupid as you look! That's awesome too, I just like that somersault. I can't believe I lost to this guy! Sorry to Jet. Sorry to Jet, but I'm in a hurry. Man, it's so loud too, but yeah, that thing really rumbles your controller, I'm telling you. You might not remember. But it was something else. Maybe it's just because it's the first one, really. I'm fine, I'm fine. I mean, there was the first boss, but that guy's got a bigger rumble that you see first. Your first time playing in 1997, new to the rumble pack? That thing was crazy. You're getting better, Fox. I'm more than better, Falgo. 267. What did I have? 350 something? Using the warp last time? So yeah, that's the difference. And now Fortuna, this planet, you get the least amount of points. It's the lowest scoring one out of everything in this game. But it's your first encounter with Star Wolf. A very crappy version of Star Wolf, nothing like the ones we've already fought on Venom twice. But lots of memorable quotes here. I always I replayed this stage over and over as a kid. I thought Star Wolf was awesome. Recover our base from the enemy army. Our base? Roger, General. He says that's so crazy. Enter Star Wolf. Just what I need to say. Split up and take it to him. Why are ships coming out of a base? The bomb has been planted at the base. A bomb has been planted. Falco, huh? So yeah, the hit plus one trick applies. If you could, uh, this is a little bit like Katina, all range mode. All throughout the whole mis mission, I can't speak anymore. Time for a little payback. But I told you guys my cheappuppies.com story, right? The Star Wolf code. I know I've said it in other videos before, but this is where it belongs. So the story is back in the era of this game when the internet was brand new and cheappuppies.com was a site. I wouldn't advise going to it now. I don't know if it exists. It could be like a virus thing now or something crazy. But they had a fake code posted there of a button combination you did to play as the Star Wolf team instead of Star Fox. And I input that thing like I tried probably 50 times. And it claimed that if you did it right, there's one down. I think it ended with like pressing start one to initialize the main game, like selecting main game from the main menu. And then supposedly, oh here we go. I'll finish that story in a second. Can anyone take care of it? Can't let you do that. Andros has ordered us to take you down. Happy. Long time no see. Andros's enemy is my enemy. Just what I need to see. Star Wolf. Let's take care of these guys first. I didn't see who that was. Was that Wolf already? Could have been. But yeah, that code claimed that as you see the R wings normally, as you start Corneria and they're like, check your G diffuser system and all that, that it would have been the Wolfen instead of the R wing, and it would have been Star Wolf characters talking. And yeah, like I said, I tried that so much before I finally caught on to the fact that it was just some idiot on the internet putting a fake code there. Some hit plus ones off of those. You're not as tough as I thought. I'm Andros. I was just checking. There's one more. 64 hits. That's nice. That's happening. And there you go. 
Very fast planet, too. I'll take care of the bomb now. But yeah, 75 hits. That's actually good. Thanks to the hit plus one stuff I was doing a little bit of. 50 is the medal. But yeah, that's kind of a boring planet now. Star Wolf is ridiculously easy, but I used to draw all those things out just for fun to hear all the quotes and stuff. All aircraft report. Hey, we made it! Fox, take it easy. He acts like it was a challenge. That was a close call, Fox. That was nothing, Falco. If you guys were any good. But yeah, because of that score already, there's no possible way this is gonna this is probably gonna be the least scoring of all the routes. The previous two videos, even though the first one could have been better, it's probably gonna be even less than that. Well, yeah, succeeding, actually, now we're on the medium path, but I gotta change course. So failing is, uh, not defeating Star Wolf in time and then the bomb going off. Which I'll show that in probably the next video after this. This is a great level, though. I like this one. Reports indicate that Andros is working on some secret weapon. I'll check it out. Mystery of the Space Base. Yeah, Sector X. This is awesome. Very unique music. Two paths to go at one point, one of which is a warp to Sector Z. But that's one I'll show in the next video, too, because it's useless for score and stuff. But you can get a pretty high score here, too, if you're accurate and kind of know what you're doing. Let's take out that weapon, boys. Let's have a little fun. Crazy big squadrons here in the beginning, too. And they're quick. Actually, I think Peppy's about to say that. Stay alert. Oh, yes. Thank you. Obviously, some charge shots would be better. You get a little bonus hits. Wait, be careful. But bomb is... You definitely need to use a bomb. Like, well, even here. See, that was good. That was good. Enemy group behind us. Man, they're fast. We're getting close to the base. And now here, if you have extra bombs to spare, like I kind of do, get these mines just like an Area 6. Well-placed charge shots, I think, have the same effect, but on a smaller radius, obviously. But they gotta be deadly accurate, because those things are finicky. They have a weird hitbox. It's all gone! But yeah, we're off to a good start in terms of score. Look at that stupid butterfly thing. Uh... Break is your friend here, and bouncing the shots off the side for the bonus hits. But yeah, the screen's already scrolled too much, missed the guys on the left. What the heck is that? Here it comes! What the heck is that? And desperately save Pepe! On me. I'm getting careless. Thanks, you gotta be quick in this stage, because Pepe will die even at full health if you're not quick there, and in a part coming up. Crap. I tried too much to do that kind of thing, the ricochet off the wall. Left or right, left goes to the warp. Right goes where we want to go. To the outside. I'll attack from the outside. Lots of points this way, but you gotta be ready to save Peppy. System, get ahead. And again, well-placed, unlocked charge shots. I think you got it now. You hold R and Z at the same time, but in case you don't... Like that, I should have used some on that. Oh, well. I get panicky. There we go, there's the metal 150. We want to greatly surpass that. At least 220 something. But you could do better. This is like another one of those, uh. Where is the secret weapon? Rob! Let's slow down, get these guys. Panic bomb, that should have been a charge shot, but oh well. But yeah, this is another one of those, like, 300 plus planets if you really do well. I'm going ahead. Back me up, ready. I whiffed. That would have been a good charge shot to hit. Knock it off, Bob. But yeah, the lasers, that's going to reduce my high score, but 223. All right, so we're good. I don't know. I like firing lasers to the beat. So we're out of jeez, man. Get out of here. But yeah, now it's time for the... Oh, no. Butterfly things. There's just kind of random enemies off to the side here, so your last chance to get a couple hits. And even at the boss, there's enemies that come flying, so you could get, like, hit plus five or six or seven more hits. I forget. What the heck? Fuck! 
Look behind so yeah, we're not even gonna have 230. It's gonna be more like there's one. But yeah, these you definitely want to lock on to. Unless you wait till the bitter so end. This is the secret weapon. And do an unlock charge shot Destroy. perfectly timed. Destroy. But yeah, in dead space like this, you need to know when it's gonna detonate. I will terminate all enemies. So 238, I think I might have missed one. I thought there was more than that. You are an enemy. But yeah, this robot, nothing to him, but you wanna beat him fast, otherwise Slippy's in trouble, but that's actually Where is the creator? That's the ending we want, though. What's he saying? But if you lose Slippy, you lose the medal. So you could always change course on the map. But I'll show that ending too. Yippee! So yeah, right here, it. if you do nothing and you wait a while, Slippy will volunteer and get in trouble. Huh? What? That view is clear. Destroy. I must be complete. 249, that's not too bad. That's like... That's like average. All aircraft report. I'm fine, I'm fine. I guess that's the level I'm at, though. I've taken a few hits, but I'm okay. Like, there's really good, like, Zallard 1. You worry about your own hide. And then there's getting pretty good, like, way surpassing the medal, like I'm doing, but really trailing from those really good scores that, like, Zallard's capable of. But it's one of those things that I don't know if I'm really gonna keep at it to the point where I'm at that level too. I don't even know if that's possible. I just want to beat my own personal score. At least by a couple points, whatever I can do, and then I'll be satisfied. But yeah, off to Macbeth. A good strategy for score running. Um, but not going Fortuna's way. But we're gonna change course as if Slippy did get in trouble. Titania. What are you doing? It's too dangerous there. I can't leave Slippy hanging. What happened to Slippy? We didn't even see. But yeah, this was the last planet I got a medal for back when I was trying to get all the medals for the first time in this game. And I guess it's technically supposed to be the first stage you see the Landmaster, assuming that you're not skilled enough yet to get to Macbeth. Deploy the Landmaster! Which was very much true for kids not used to 3D yet playing this game for the first time back then. I remember seeing all of this. Give me Slippy's location, Rob. I wish I could actually see that again, like how I played back then. There's rocky terrain dead ahead. This is a cool planet, but holy crap, does it slow down? Magnetic storm. We'll search here. These guys, you can do. Unlock charge shot stuff to get a little bit of radius bonus. It's kind of finicky though. I think you look better in a tank. There's that cool. Why don't you come down here, Falco? I can't seem to get it. I'll pass. Man, yeah, this thing is going like 10 frames a second or something crazy. Sure be a pain in the neck. I think on the virtual console it's a little better. Uh, I oh that was a, I thought I was locked onto something else. That was a bad bomb. Enemy fighters coming at you, fuck. I thought I was on the airborne guys. That would have been good. Yeah, I'm giving up on that. Uh, it wasn't working. The little radius thing on these guys. Try hovering. Oh, these bombs. These bombs have a weird hitbox. Oh, I destroyed that one. Whoops. But you can get bonus hits off of those, too. I'll try to do it here. The barrel roll press yeah, see that? Hit plus one, hit plus one, hit plus one. So that's kind of a neat thing. It's similar to those things in Medio. And also that pe quote from Peppy just now. I always thought that was funny that he actually says the buttons. Just trying to get bonus points, Peppy. Everything's fine. Use the boost to get through. Yeah, this I remember this being a very hard medal to get for some reason as a kid. Maybe it's not that bad now. 
But yeah, you gotta know all these like weird little bonus spots to fire a charge shot. Otherwise, you're gonna get a pretty standard score. Which is probably exactly what I'm gonna get, is a pretty standard score. Try hovering. And again, you can't, uh, just like Macbeth from the last video, you can't hold R and Z at the same time. You just gotta fire them off quick if you don't wanna lock on. I'm actually listening to Peppy. Yeah, I know you wanna break here and go nuts, like, for that hit plus two. It could be more. I don't know, there's almost no excuse to be doing this bad if I'm doing bad. It feels like I'm doing bad, but I don't know. No, that's that building. And then Falco took some of the hits! So you gotta be quick! Luckily, these Landmaster stages... Pressing start and hitting retry course... You don't really lose much because there's no laser upgrades for the Landmaster. But it will affect the next stage that you're in the R-Wing. You'll be back to the puny laser. Don't be dead, Cliff. Location confirmed. No, so I keep letting go of the boost, thinking I'm all right, but now, yeah, well. Oh boy, look at these guys. But yeah, I was gonna say it's going so slow that you would think I would be able to read this and react exactly how I want. But to be honest, I'm kind of forgetful. Uh, all right, that was pretty good. Missed the first guy. No, oh, it's those big guys getting away. You're good for something. 150 is probably the metal, I would say. No? Oh, wait. Hold up. Yeah! Missed one of them, but that would have been a good... Now, there's a trick here. You could get, like, hit plus eights if you do crazy charge shot stuff, but I don't know. I just watched a Zallard video, and he was doing it. Just shooting the ground, kind of, randomly, it seemed. It must have something to do with the rocks and the guys on the hill. It must be, like, a weird hitbox thing, but I don't know exactly what it is. And clearly, I'm not getting it. Doesn't look like we're gonna be breaking 200. You okay? Pull together just a bit further. Oh yeah. Ah, Venom on this route is a lot of fun. Is that you, Slippy? I'll be there soon. We will break 200 points. What do you know? Slippy! But I do have the medal. It doesn't show you till you free Slippy. You come help me. But yeah, remember Slippy's like this because if you wait on that robot boss boss Let me get a piece of that action box from the previous stage, it swats Slippy to this planet. And this is how you where you find him. I remember this boss being kind of tricky. I made it! There you go. I'll analyze right away. See the letters turn orange. So we got the metal definitely. And just unload on the heart. Wait, what? No way it was that quick. I remember struggling. Like he's good at blocking his chest like that, and then he whips his tail around. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be a little bit tougher than it was. We're always saving your hide, Slip. We're always saving your hide, Slip. I'm sure he's learned his lesson. Yeah, when he does get... Oh. When we get back, we'll head to Venom. Yeah, from a different Venom, and we get to see Bulls. Hey, look at that, 999, almost as if it can't go higher than that. I don't know, when I see that number, that's what I always think, is like, you've hit some kind of max counter. But definitely not. It's actually a terrible school. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, when the robot swats Slippy away and that mission ends that way, Falco's like, Slippy can be such a headache. But I'll show that in the next video. All, the, all these things that you never really see anymore. But this is Bulls, and there's something to be said about this planet. But we'll listen to uh, General Pepper. If you destroy the satellite, we can go straight for Venom. Be careful, Fox. I'm on it. 
Gridlock. The last hurrah. Okay, guys, destroy all barriers. This intro part feels amazing. You want to go to the left because the gravitational pull of this thing really aids you. However, you can see I'm going to the right and going slow, and that's intentional because I'm trying to get these bonus hits. You can get them off of those and then at the base of these things. See all these hit plus ones? And you just got to listen for the explosion. But yeah, look at how hard it is to get forward going this way because we're going like against gravity or something. Is mine. Whereas if we go the other way, you go You're not getting away, Daddy. super fast. But yeah, it's at the very base of these columns. There it is. I heard the pop. And it's nice to get these too. I won't let you get away from me. But you might want to save these turrets in case you need them. Because the other thing that's to be noted about this planet is uh, if you have yet to encounter Star Wolf, like if you never went to Fortuna and you came here a different way, you are not taking him down today. Star Wolf will appear after this phase. I won't let you get away from me. And another more interesting thing that could happen is if you do see Star Wolf in Fortuna, but you don't defeat them, the remnants of whoever's You're not getting away, Daddy. still left alive they don't give up. will appear as well. So, for example, if only Leon survived the fight in Fortuna... Take it so long, Pop. I'm trying to get points, Peppy! That's what's taking so long. I don't normally do this, but... Why wouldn't you, for a higher score? Forty-five, yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, if only Leon survived, only he would appear. I won't let you get away from me! I don't know, it's just kind of an interesting thing about the stage. Otherwise, it's just an all-range thing, kind of like Katina. Lots of enemy fighters come flying out. This is a little slow. I'm used to going the other way and just wrecking them all in a row and getting right to the point. It could be almost... Hey, the there we go. Field is disappearing. Looks like we've got company. Now, this is where Slippy's always crying for help. Three fighters are always behind him. There they are, too. Usually two behind Peppy. Falco only really gets, like, one. But yeah, right about now is when Star Wolf would appear. It's just a little bit after those guys. But we defeated all of them, so they're not coming. But that's another thing I could show off in the next video, just for heck's sake. All these... Get out of my way! <laughs> That's a rare quote. I won't let you get away from me! Unless you constantly fly into Falco. But yeah, this is another one of those timed things. Time for a little payback. The longer you take to destroy the satellite's core in the middle, the less... Go find your own target, Fox! ...bonus points you get. So it starts off as, uh, I think hit plus tens. Destroy the satellite's core! Yeah, and then they eventually reduce to, like, hit plus five or whatever. Stop. Get this guy off me. But there's no time limit, unlike Fortuna. I think you could just spend however long you want here, because eventually enemies come back. If you destroy all the enemies, a new wave spawns. Or no, that's not true. There is a limit. This is really starting to tick me off. I remember this now. You can go around for a while, but eventually enemies do stop spawning. Woo. But I forget how many waves spell. I you get away from me. That's what I don't know. Oh. 120? Was that the metal? No, it was 150. I just hit it. It's just racking up. Okay. So, yeah, we're good. We can end this thing. Grab a bomb just in case, because we are going the Venom easy route, which is actually very difficult. That's one thing I've always thought about this game, is Venom easy is actually the harder Venom than Venom hard. Unless, There's one down. I guess that last fight with Star Wolf with the puny laser was pretty bad. Oh no, don't lose your wings. I guess we should end this, huh? There we go. <laughs> Everything's quiet but slippy.
I always like how quiet this is as it explodes. Cool rainbow effect, though. Sorry to anybody with epilepsy, though. I don't know if that's the kind of thing that bothers you. Yeah, that's a terrible score. And the 227 that you can easily get. Venom, here we come. From the other side of Venom, it's very hard to break 200 here. But this is one of my favorite planets. It's very awesome the way that you can split pathways and follow which co pilot you want. I don't know, I, I just really like this. I made a Mario Maker stage after this level. Don't be back. We're not done yet. In Mario Maker 1, where you actually had the costumes. Time to show the monkeys who's boss. That's an awesome quote, too. They're everywhere! These guys just keep coming. Not bad. Don't go dying on me! Don't go dying on me! Alright, who do we want to follow? Well, that's not yet anyway, though. Yeah, again, always opt for the charge shots if you can. But otherwise, go bomb. Here we go. This is awesome. I'll take the left. I'm going left. No, I'm going right. I'm on your Last minute decision. An enemy on your tail. Yeah. Going with Peppy, cause we got it. Falco's a good route, though. Falco, Slippy, and then back to Falco. You can get a lot of hits. And you can get a lot of hits with Peppy too. Uh, going left. Am I with Falco now? Yep. So it's like Slippy on the left, Falco down the middle, Peppy on the right, and you can kind of converge. I'll take the left. Mix and match. Let's stick with Falco this time. And watch him whiff. Gee, quit moving around. I don't know, man. I got so many ideas for this franchise. So many ways that the teammates could actually be useful and not just for show. But I like it all the same. Here they come! But yeah, it's very hard to get the metal thing this route. I don't think I've ever done it. So yeah, these last sections are usually just obstacle avoiding. Okay. This brings back memories of your dad. Was that not yet? This brings back memories of your dad. Yeah, it is. This is awesome too. Watch them fly synchronized. And destroy that brick. Another synchronized flying show. That's awesome. Jeez, Louise, what is that? That temple gives me the creep. This is always interesting. I don't know. I found it interesting. Maybe this is why Mario 64 always reminds me of this game. Like level eight, the sand world, the pyramid in there always kind of looks like this. Look at his big diaper butt. Oh, it's gone now. Yeah, this is awesome. I love this kind of stuff. Don't get too close, Fox. Just avoiding obstacles and laying down the herd at the same time. Data analysis complete. Here it comes. I don't know. This game just, it still feels awesome. The flying is so responsive and fluid. He's almost down. Oh. Never give up. Rest your oh, I'm not giving up. You're mine, bud. Bob. And there you go. Didn't get the medal. But yeah, I never do go on this route. It's very hard. It's like two. Is it 200? Is it 200 or 220? Two, I don't know what it is. I don't remember. You just always get it if you defeat. I'll go it alone from here. Star Wolf early enough. Fuck! But yeah, this is a whole different side of Venom. This is not 
the real Andros. And it's a whole different thing, but it's interesting. I've been waiting for you, Star Fox. Crap! You know that I control the galaxy. Yeah, you get a chance to get at least a couple more points here before the end. It's foolish to come against This me. tunnel is way creepier than the other one, though. Just the noise of the doors. And he has that line about your father. Die just like your father. I don't know. It's more menacing, I think. Oh, we're done. Okay, here we go. But the fight is the same except for the second phase. I guess it's supposed to be your punishment for going the crappy planet way and not performing well enough to go the advanced route. Yeah, get ready for the robot face. Fire a bomb and hope that it hits. Yep. Sometimes it doesn't work. It like goes right through them. And then this is auto. You don't have to follow James out. It's definitely kind of neat. I like the afterburner sound. Definitely pretty cool. And uh, I guess that's why Star Fox Zero replicated that in a way. No manual escape there, really. Fox, are you okay? Yeah, there's a little bit of different... Yes! You did it! ...dialogue here. Okay, I'll admit it. You did good, Fox. So yeah, they all think they defeated him, but... Once again, I'll cut the credits. There's nothing to see here. We didn't get Bill or Cat. So I'll just show the end, because the ending is a little bit different, defeating that Andros. And that's a terrible score. But that's to be expected going to easy planets. So, yep. There you go. That's the new thing. You see the real Andros laughing at you for not defeating the real one. Well, thank you for watching, you guys. Now we have seen all the planets, except for on expert mode. So now, that is next, beating that score. But before that, I might do a video what? showing the paths that we haven't seen yet. So thanks for watching.